Bonjour everyone, welcome to part two of Spurvers. And as you can see, I'm still joined by the multi-talented Emma Story and Reese. Um, let's get on to the first topic of Spurvers part two, and it's gonna be Townsend's bus stop. Post-match, yeah. what's your thoughts on it, guys? Well, it's an interesting one. I, I sit really near where the uh, subs warm up, and I saw him warming up, and when the others, Ryan Mason and Josh and Omer are getting called up to go on, he looked absolutely furious. Oh, I mean, no. you would be, you'd be gutted, because you think, I am, a, at worst, a super sub. Yeah. Right? Worst case scenario, <laughs> I'm coming on, I'm cutting in, I'm hitting the bar every time with every shot, and you're not even getting on, Mason's getting on. I know they're different players and stuff, but Josh and Omer came on to do the job Townsend would have done. Yeah. And, ah, you got to think, I've been here a long time, mate. And now this kid is coming in. This 18 year old. Exactly. With amazing hair. Who was sort of better than Townsend. So I, I don't know, I can see why he's frustrated. Uh, I don't really understand what the bust up was. It was like they were made to do a warm down on the pitch or whatever, which they yeah. always are. But I guess it is a bit embarrassing. I don't know. I do, but no, I don't think it is embarrassing. I think it's a massive symptom of just how frustrated Townsend is full stop. Yeah. Everything that's happening in Spurs at the moment. Because the thing is about doing a warm down at home, like everyone's left the ground. Like it's not as if you're in front of the away fans and who are yeah. being held in and you've got an audience of like 3,000 or whatever. Mm. I mean, there's hardly anyone still watching at that point when he's doing his warm down. I think it is just, he is so. Is it unprofessional? It is a little bit, because he's obviously got frustrations and clearly he should direct those frustrations to perhaps the people who are responsible for the frustrations, yeah. rather than the poor guy who's taken it up for the warm down to make sure he doesn't get injured. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. it, I think it is a little bit unprofessional. At least but if he gets injured, he's got an excuse for not getting on the Like pitch. he actually touched yeah. the guy from the yeah, photos we've yeah, seen. This he's is, this is what I mean, like it's, it's, it's not really on, but I mean, I do have sympathy with him because I think he is immensely frustrated now. Yeah. And I think, you know, we, I've talked about the fact before that, you know, Roy Hodgson loves him. He's an automatic England pick. Will he continue to be an automatic England pick if he never plays for Spurs? This is the problem that he's mm. now going to have. And you can see that is building now for him. And, you know, maybe that means that come January it's going to be... It's got to be over. frustrating for the guy who he suddenly started launching his career when he got those England call-ups and he was doing amazingly and then got injured. Yeah. And then yeah. couldn't go with the squad. And then his sort of career's kind of dropped off since he's got then. He's back. He's been yeah. at Spurs for a while. He supports Spurs, doesn't he? He does. And, uh, you know, he loves the club. I don't think he... He would choose to leave yeah. if it, apart from the fact that he's not playing. Which if he loved the club, then he should know that it is for the best that he stays on the bench. Yeah. Well, speaking of players that have been at the club for a while, Jan Vertonga made his 100th appearance yes. for Spurs. Yes, Come yes. on, Super, Super Jan. Jan. Super Jan, um, 100 club, good lad. But the shine was stolen from that in the post-match interview when he uh, was presenting <laughs> Deli Ali with the Man of the Match award. And he actually said that he didn't know who he was and he didn't watch <laughs> anything other than Premiership football. So he said, I don't watch the Champions or League One, don't know any of the players down there. Well, he said, he didn't go, I don't know who you are. He said, I didn't <laughs> know who you were you? when you came okay. to the club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> who is this kid? Well, why is he getting champagne? I hate um, to say this, but I don't see why anyone's surprised. I'm sorry. Like, you know, I watch Championship. I watch League One and Two. I really enjoy Football League football. But the internationals coming over here, like, they see... He's Premier been here for a while, though. Going. And you've got players that actually just love football and watch all of it, like Harry Kane. Really? Like when I spoke to Harry Kane, he says he watches everything. Maybe it's oh, an we've English Belgian Harry Kane, mate. Just, he just, uh, just point it <laughs> out there. He <laughs> says he watches everything. But I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, it could be the fact that, you know, maybe he's a foreign player, he's come over. Yeah. Really I think it's fair enough. Over. I think it's funny. Deli Ali took it with a pitch stop. He, he yeah. laughed at it, didn't he? He thought it was funny. Of course, I think it's good. Jan's honest. It's nice. It's nice a bit to be of, honest. It was a bit awkward, banter, mate. It was hashtag awkward. Was it awkward? I think, I think, oh, that, I think the, the, the interviewer made it much more awkward than it needed to be. He was saying, oh, how are you going to dig yourself out of this one? And he kind of made a go at it. He was stumbling a bit, but he made a go at it. <laughs> Who, Yan? Yeah, yeah, he made a go at digging super himself out of it. Yeah. All right, yeah. I reckon, yeah, I reckon yeah. Delhi was loving it. I reckon after this, like, yeah. yeah. All I hate, right. I hate the word banter. Well, way. speaking of Deli Ali, uh, Deli Ali, some old tweets have actually leaked. Oh. Well, not even leaked. Someone's just dug them up. They've gone way down his timeline, all the way back to 2012, oh, and we happen gosh. to have some of them here. Do you want to read some of them out, and you guys can respond to them? Yes. So here's a, some here's some of the Twitter gold that was revealed, uh, and apparently he was in school at the time. We must assume so. It was about three years ago, wasn't it? I was gonna say, yeah. He'd be about 16. 16. Yeah, year <laughs> 11. All right. So he said, um, "Someone give me an SO, please," which stands for shout out. Right. Uh, there you go, mate. Deli Alley, good lad. Uh, finally, three years later, he's finally got it. Well done, Deli. Uh, can't wait to watch being Liverpool. Liverpool, sorry. Hashtag inspirational. Oh, that no, must Deli. be sarcastic. The hashtag must be ironic because if you watch being Liverpool, it is Anything essentially about. the office. It is essentially Jeremy Kyle. Um, he said, "Gonna unleash the Mr. Shaggy love in love." <laughs> Mr. Yeah. Shaggy loving, loving. It wasn't me. That is such a 16-year-old thing to like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, he also said, played so shit. 
He probably did, did mate. He was 16. Time. I don't know. Yeah. Um, at, least he, at least he's honest. He's not tweeting that anymore. This one's funny. Microsoft bought Skype for $8.5 billion. LOL, they could have downloaded it for free. Hey. Good lad. Uh, Getting the gags. Getting the gags out. It's the sweet, sweet gags. Sad I'm leaving school on Friday. Um, LOL, am I fuck? <laughs> Fair enough. We're glad you left as well, man. Got to see you in my English exam. Hey. Yeah, I'm not surprised by that. From what you've read so far, I think I could have guessed that. Same uh, person. Yeah, sorry. See, well done. <laughs> Getting my maths results today. Hashtag shitting it. Yeah, we all did that. Uh, Crystal Palace are shocking at pens. Hashtag say no more. Is he talking about, um, what's his name? Punchins one against us, maybe? Against us, maybe. Oh, yeah. Not still into oh, wow, that pen. Still hasn't landed, has it? No. no. Um, and then the funniest one of them all. Still can't believe I got told off for apparently doing sexual gestures towards <laughs> my teacher, LOL. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Um, <laughs> what wow. a classic 16. They're probably that shaggy loving loving, mate. That's what um. that was. That's what it is. That was absolutely <laughs> hilarious. Don't worry, we love you, Deli Ali. You was young. You know, we've all got probably skeletons in our Twitter closet somewhere. Thank God when I was that age, <coughs> you didn't have Twitter. So it's yeah. fine. I'll take so. all that to the grave with me. <laughs> Bebo. Anyway, guys, this has been Bebo, you're screwed. part two of Spurvets. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure you drop it a like. Let us know in the comments below what you think about what we've talked about so far. And also subscribe to the channel. Keep it casual. Good evening and welcome to another episode of Six O'Clock Spurs. Now, first up, good news. Apparently, Hyung Min's song is back from injury. I know there's been a lot of mystery surrounding his foot injury. 